Yeah, we have four Zerunia chapters, and we had three last time, because now we have Winnie in, so. Oh, right. Okay, so chapter eight. Include the bed sheet scene. That sounds so weird out of context. And then three is introduce <laughs> the book, the mystery. <laughs> no, I mean, if they're right next to each other, easy. All the okay, this is a door, and oh dear god. Okay, give me a second. Okay, Sophie, this is a door. This isn't a very good angle, but this is me in front of a door. Okay, now I gotta go get Chinese food and then send a very intimate video <laughs> to Sophie. Oh dear. Okay, but in all actuality, Sophie and I had a phone call. I don't know how long it was, but we had fun. It was a fun talk, and it was actually really productive. We wrote really quick. Okay, we were on the phone for three, for two hours and 20 minutes. No, 40 minutes is how long we were on the phone. I think if that's the correct math. So, I guess it wasn't as quick as I thought, but it felt quick, okay? It felt like it didn't take long, and it was beautiful, and it was fun. And, uh, yeah, now we all have deadlines, and we're hoping to make a cake before May, or on May 1st. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to go, uh, and I'll check back in when I've written. Written more of this. Okay. So, it is the 12th of January, and I have to turn this chapter in by the end of tonight. I guess I don't have to. I think she said I have till Friday if I wanted to, but I want to finish. I don't want... This is the first deadline. Failing your first deadline is not a good thing. Um, so, I've written a little bit. It's hard to write when this baby right here is opened up right beside me because... <laughs> Okay, come on. Yeah, when this is open right beside me, all I want to do is read this. So, it's kind of difficult to write. I should probably close it out. But I'm not gonna. And you can't stop me. Um, so, yeah. First off, chapter one is now... Like, the first chapter of the book is now my chapter. And the first draft, if you watch those vlogs, my first chapter was chapter two. And yet, each time, I both I, I knew how I wanted to open the chapter, yet I struggled heavily when it came to writing it. Though, uh, Sinclair needed a personality, and he's certainly getting that this time around. Because I've, kind of all I've made of this is so far is just flooding his personality into your face so that's fun um but yeah I'll check back in when I've written more than just these couple of paragraphs wow chapter one it's a big it's, that means a lot so it's probably been like an hour since I updated y'all and I'm not done with the chapter I'm not okay but um I really like how it's turning out like I've actually like added description for what the guard room training room looks like and I've described I think I've described particularly the captain of the guard really well at the moment um so I'm quite proud of it so I just wanted to say that the first time Sophie and I wrote our book I started it off obsessed with troll hunters and binging the show now I'm binging the Invincible comics. I feel like it's just, like, it's just becoming tradition. I forgot the word for a second. It's becoming tradition to be obsessed with another piece of media when you're trying to write the first draft of a book with Sophie. That's that's the tradition. So, a fair warning to any of you who want to write a book with Sophie, you will find an obsession when you start, so. It's 5.17 now. Um... I'm not done with my chapter yet. <laughs> In my defense, I haven't spent the entire time working on it. Um, but I'm having a lot of fun with this new Sinclair. Like, I don't know how I, like, I don't know why I, he has no personality in the first book. But 
I'm giving him a personality. Like, he's a prince. He's supposed to be book smart. Book smart. You should be able to manipulate people or people's, so his surroundings and stuff like that. And it's so much fun to play with. I'm having a blast. But now I'm going to go, I'm going to go read an Invincible comic. And then I'll come back. Then I come back after I read about Invincible. So... I remember this being a problem when I wrote Sin's first chapter, and it was, do I write Sin or do I write Sinclair? Because he's referred to as Sinclair by Trig, not as Paris, but like the main character, the other main character, he's referred to as Sin. But his name's Sinclair. So I don't know what to refer to him as. He's Sinclair right now, but I'm saying, the saying. Well... We were doing really good till I got to the dinner scene and the way it's laid out, it's just, it don't work and I don't like it. So, did I like it the first time I wrote it? I don't remember, oh, but I don't like it the second time. I think I did like it the first time because I keep going back to that and I'm like, mm. I think that'd be good here, but I ain't gonna put you here because I'm supposed to improve and I don't know. I don't know. So I'm just saying that Sophie, this is not final. This dinner scene will be rewritten. Um, just as this entire chapter will probably be rewritten after the second draft again because, you know, but anyway, I hate the way this is turning out because it just, it seems really messy. Like, I don't think that it flows very well. I don't think it goes from the one topic to another very good. Some of it's better than before, but most of it is just garbage. It's just garbage. It's just Trig's father. All right, it's 9-12. Dear God, it took me way too long to write this chapter. We'll blame it on Mark, right? We'll blame it on Invincible, which is a fantastic comic book series. And if, uh, I like, I, I've never been able to find a comic series that I like until now. Read Invincible. It's fantastic. But I finished my chapter. I don't like the way it ended, but we'll go with it. Um, let's see. Let's see how many words this is. I haven't looked. And I'm going to see how many words chapter two was the first time so we can kind of see. I mean, like, it's different. It is. Until you get to the end, because then I just kind of, like, didn't really try. But let's see, so the original chapter was 2,950 words. And this new chapter is less. Oh, that hurts. Oh, dear. Uh, it's only 2,688. Granted, the dinner scene was cut short. It's not finished. And uh, the last scene of this chapter is probably too thin. It needs to probably be thickened, uh, but, wow, that's really disappointing. I spent all day on this. <laughs> I dedicated my entire day to this, okay. I didn't do it all day, but I spent a lot of time on this. It's fine. We'll just... <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna go read Invincible. I'm not too upset about it. I'm gonna text Sophie, be like, yo, girl, the first half of this chapter is great, in my opinion. Last half needs a lot of help, but uh, you can go now. I did it. I hit our deadline. Ah, your turn, Sophie. Pass the the potato back to y'all. Um, anyway, I need to think of a fun chapter opening for chapter two that will hopefully make Sophie smile. It might not. But I'm going to do it anyway, because I think it'd be a fun thing to do. I don't know. Maybe by the time, we'll see. Anyway, I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, I'm going to go read about this Viltrum more. Bye-bye. Viltrum. Viltrum. Bye-bye. I'm pretty sure I made a grave mistake. Um, I just got out of the bath, and that's why my hair looks like this. Um, and it's the 27th, and oh my god, no. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Sophie, you told me I had till Friday. Today's Thursday, is it not? It is. I have not made a grave mistake. Yes! Ah. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm gonna have to text Sophie and double check that, but, ha, ah, wow. Oh, my night just got so much better because I don't even have to do this. I need to, though. I need to. Anyway, um, basically, Sophie and I already had, I already messed up our deadline schedule because my wrist, the one I use for this little puppy on the computer, practically 12 hours a day, maybe less than that, like, We'll say eight. You know, I do school on this. I watch YouTube. I edit on this. I write on this. I use this wrist a lot when I'm left-handed, okay? So, I don't know if everybody uses. No, I know not everybody uses this because I used to have a My friend, my old friend, Ryan, wrote with her, her right hand and she used her mouse with her left. And it freaking blew my mind when I found that out. Okay, we got off track. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the fact that I thought I was going to have to write a whole entire chapter today and tomorrow so I could get turned in. And I don't have to. So, life's good. Life is great. Where in the world did I get Friday? So, I have a confession. Uh, I deleted the entire like back half this vlog I deleted the footage for it where I wrote chapter four which sucks because that would have been like the only part of this vlog that I looked good and wore a different shirt I have I didn't mean to put the same shirt on I had for the first beginning of this vlog but I did it's it's a comfortable lounge shirt anyway um so chapter four how'd it go it went great basically I ended up waiting to write chapter four until Saturday day, Saturday so I had I spent all Saturday working on chapter four and I really really actually no I wrote it on Sunday because I went out of town on Saturday okay so I waited until the deadline day and wrote the chapter on Sunday and I'm really proud of how it came out it turned out really good I it's basically it's like one of the most important scenes of the book because it literally sets up it sets up the end like you know and there's also romance between our two main characters and I got to write that romance scene which I know I was so jealous that Sophie got to write last time I was like no ah you get to write that that sucks but then I got to write the kiss scene which and maybe I'll get to write that again I don't know anyway so I got to write that romantic tension filled scene and it was a lot of fun I had a lot of fun writing this chapter but I was also really like in my head about it because I wanted to improve it because while writing chapter four of the first draft I hated it I did not like how it came out and then when we reread the first draft I found out that it actually wasn't as bad as I thought but I still didn't like it and I'm very very proud of how this chapter came out because it came out in my opinion so good it is I think it's longer than I don't remember I think it's longer than the first draft of chapter four and I, I I really 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 like because I I just I can't really say too much about it because spoilers I wrote that in January it is now the 17th of February actually no when did I write that I did write that in January <laughs> I wrote that in January I'm pretty sure I also started my uh, 50 squats for 31 days on the same day I wrote this chapter. So overall, that was a great day. And uh, anyway, thank you so much for coming to this vlog. I'm sorry that we had to end it like this. If you're wondering when the next part will be out, I cannot tell you that because while Sophie and I had deadlines, we have not stuck to them. I'm still waiting for Sophie's chapter. I can't write mine until she writes hers. <laughs> Sophie, if you're watching this, what's up, girl? How you doing? <laughs> Just wondering. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I love you all so, 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 so much. And I'll see you guys all next time for another video. And hey, don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Bye, everyone.